We're back with four awesome discoveries you probably didn't hear about this week. They were once thought to be useless, pieces of DNA that aren't genes. We now know this junk DNA can act as switches that turn genes on and off. But how do these segments of DNA, called enhancers, find and activate their target genes in a cell's nucleus? Researchers have captured the moment in a living fly embryo to help understand the mechanism. Using fluorescent tags, the gene shows as green. Turns out when the enhancer, blue, makes physical contact, boom, red. Gene activity activated. This invention could improve lab on a chip. Engineers have developed a way to manipulate tiny droplets of blood and other biological fluids by having them surf on acoustic waves in oil. They can move them, split them, mix them, all without leaving a trace overcoming a major drawback in current models that rely on solid surfaces. The new Lab on a Chip platform could form the basis of a programmable, rewritable biomedical chip for use in diagnostics and research. On an evening stroll one night in 1670, you might have witnessed the sudden birth of a new star. 348 years later, astronomers studying the dim remains of the double star collision that created that new star have made the first definitive detection of radioactive molecules in interstellar space. A form of aluminum monofluoride, cast out from the star's dense inner layer by the crash. As one of the researchers put it, we are observing the guts of the star torn apart three centuries ago by a collision. How cool is that? The long dormant Yellowstone supervolcano is powered by heat from Earth's core. Or is it? A recent study finds no evidence for that long held belief. New underground X ray like images suggest the Yellowstone volcano was produced when a gigantic oceanic plate dove under the western U.S. 30 million years ago, crashing the party at Earth's mantle with unusual rocks, which led to volcanic eruptions as party crashers sometimes do. And there you go. See you next week with four more awesome discoveries with funding from NSF.